All right, welcome back, everybody. Once again, this is Roy McQueen from NC Tech Lucians. So now that we are done with the widgets, I want to discuss what else you can do with the content of your page. First off, I want to show you how to group and divide your content. Now, like we've been doing already, I've created a page with a button that links to it in the main menu. And inside of the content area, I'm going to paste in the code and explain to you. Now, jQuery Mobile provides classes such as UI Bar and UI Body. Now, that's for subdividing and for visually grouping content. As you see here in the H3 header ele element, I added the class UI Bar. Now, this will create a full width heading or a separator between sections of the content. And the next class is to add the appropriate swatch for your theme. Now don't worry, we still have the cover setting up themes. And that's gonna be that's gonna come up in the next, I think the next four or five videos. I might be wrong, maybe a little bit more than that, but we'll see. So um and this next this next class right here will give you your your round corners. Now for my section of content, I add class UI body. Now this will visually group and or emphasize a section of content. And the other two is just styled differently to show you the different variations that you have. So um, now let's go ahead and run this and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, next we take a look at the grid. Now grids are 100% width, completely invisible, no borders or backgrounds, and don't have padding or margins. First I'll show you how to create a basic two block grid, then I'll do some more examples. Inside of our content, start with a container with a class of UI Grid A, and add two child containers inside it, um, classed with UI Block A, for the first column <clears throat> and UI block B for the second. Then add two classes, UI bar to add the default bar padding and UI bar A to apply the background and font style uh, for the A toolbar theme. And also I gave it a height of 60 pixels just for demonstration purposes. We run that, take a look at that. Now, if you wanted to add a three column, four column, or five column, instead of setting the container with class of UI Grid A, you will want to use UI Grid B for a three column, and then UI Grid C for a four column, and yeah, you should get the picture. It just goes on and on and on. Well, not not exactly, but you know. But look, so anything more, the grid will wrap to multiple rows of items. You can also have a grid with buttons inside. The framework adds left and right margins to the buttons in a grid. Uh, one exception is the 100% width uh, button elements. And for a single button, you can use a container with class UI grid solo and wrap the buttons in a grid with class UI block A. This way, the button will, will get the same uh, margin. So we go ahead and save this and run that and then I'll show you. You can see what that looks like on the phone. So this is it for this video. So in the next one, We'll go into, I'll show you some preset icons that jQuery Mobile comes with that you can use in your application. So check me out then, or I'll check you out then.